Hi guys, I am Neha and once again welcome back to my channel about technology. Well, in our today's video, we will discuss about two transmission media that is guided transmission media and unguided transmission media. We will see how they differ from each other. Now let us proceed with the video to get into the details. Whenever we send data from one system to another system, it is transmitted in the forms of signal. These signals require some kind of transmission medium to travel from sender towards destination. Well, there are various kind of transmission media. We broadly classify them into two categories, that is guided transmission media and unguided transmission media. The guided transmission media is also referred as wide transmission media or bounded transmission media. Guided media provides a physical medium for signals to travel from source towards destination. As it uses physical conductor for signals to travel, it provides a particular direction to these signals. But as we all know, the physical conductor have certain limitations, such as length of the conductor. Each conductor is produced up to a certain length, and it is not certain that a single length conductor would connect sender and receiver at once. We may require repeater to cover the area between sender and receiver. Other limitation is installation cost. And of course, the maintenance is also an issue with the guided media. The guided transmission media can be further categorized into three subcategories. The first one is twisted pair cable. That is, two insulated copper wire twisted around each other. Comparatively to the other guided media, the twisted pair cable has low bandwidth and provide less protection from interference. The next one is coaxial cable. Here, an insulated copper wire is further encased with a metallic braid, which act as a second conductor completing the circuit, and also it provide protection against noise. This structure is further encased with an insulating material. The coaxial cable carries signal of higher frequency. The third subcategory is optical fiber. This fiber is made up of glass or plastic. And the signal here is transmitted in the form of light. The optical fiber is noise resistant, has less signal attenuation and has a higher bandwidth. Comparatively, it is expensive and require an installation and maintenance charge. And of course, it is made up of glass, that's why it is also fragile. The other kind of transmission media is unguided transmission media. It is not possible to cover every geographical area using guided transmission media because of geographical conditions such as mountain, river, oceans, etc. The unguided transmission media provide a way of communication in such areas. It is also referred as wireless transmission media or unbounded transmission media. It doesn't require a physical medium and signals are transmitted through air in the form of electromagnetic signals. The signals are broadcasted in the air and are captured by the devices capable of receiving those signals. The signals does not have any boundary limitation and are transmitted in every direction. User with a capable device can connect to the network from anywhere, anytime. The unguided transmission media is further categorized into three subcategories that is radio wave, microwave and infrared wave. Radio wave are low frequency signals and can travel a long distance. As it is a low frequency signal, it can easily penetrate the building or any obstacle easily. Thus, it is usually used to send radio signals. The microwaves are transmitted in a straight line and hence it requires line of sight transmission. The distance covered by microwave depends on the height of sender and receiver's antenna. Taller is the height of antenna, longer is the distance covered. As these are high frequency wave, they are usually used by mobile phones, televisions, etc. The infrared wave are even of higher frequency, thus it cannot easily penetrate any obstacle and are used by remote of televisions, etc. Knowing about guided and unguided transmission media in detail, now let us discuss differences between them. The guided transmission media uses a physical path or conductor to transmit signals, whereas the unguided media broadcasts signal through the air. The guided transmission media is also referred as wireless transmission or bounded transmission. However, the unguided transmission media is referred as wireless transmission or unbounded transmission. The guided media provides direction to the signal whereas the unguided media does not provide any direction to the signals. In guided media, data is transmitted in form of electric or optical signals 
whereas in unguided transmission media data is transmitted in form of electromagnetic wave. Data transmission is faster in guided media whereas in unguided media it is comparatively slower. Guided transmission media is secure whereas unguided transmission media is comparatively less secure. The guided media is less harmful for human health whereas the unguided media is more harmful for human health. The categories of guided media are twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, optical fiber. On other hand, the categories of unguided media are radio waves, microwaves and infrared signals. So this is all about guided and unguided transmission media and their differences. For more detail, you can refer our official website techdifferences.com. I had given URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then, take a good care of yourself.